Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Wednesday, November 28th, 2018. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. All right, looking at the S&P 500 E-mini futures, we have the futures higher by 11.5 points to 26.95 per contract. All in all, the futures catching a bit of a bid ahead of the opening bell. Now, at 12 o'clock this afternoon, we're going to have Federal Reserve Chairman Jay Powell speaking from New York City, and uh, we'll see if he does start to move into a more dovish stance. That's what people are expecting. Uh, we'll see if that does happen. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, Jay Powell has been adamant about raising interest rates going forward with the strong economy. We'll see now with the market correction underway if he starts to backstep uh, any of those prior comments. So again, that will take place at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I think the market is waiting and waiting and waiting for that. And then we have uh, potentially more news coming out about a China-U.S. trade deal. We'll see if anything comes from that. The G20 meeting will be on Friday, will begin on Friday. So again, we're probably not going to get a whole lot before then, but we'll see how it plays out. Either way, futures right now up about 12 points. Let's get started with stocks in the news. That's where we're going to try to make some money. First stock we're going to look at today is going to be Salesforce. Salesforce getting a big, big pop today. Stock closed at $127.54. It is now trading at $138.10. So this is a very, very solid move for Salesforce. Uh, good pop. Uh, and we'll see where it goes. Right now, when I look at the equity, I have to think that um, we may be able to test the 142, maybe 144 level. That is definitely a possibility. This stock has a tendency to move big after earnings. So it does have potentially more upside to go. We'll see how it plays out. Right now, when I look at the uh, pattern on the chart here, I have to think that we have upside to at least 142. And that's where we probably meet a little bit of resistance. If it gets through there, believe it or not, it could run to 145 or 146 today. I don't see it getting above there, though. Uh, either way, good move for Salesforce today. Let's take a look at another one here in the same group, NTNX, which is Nutanix. Uh, this stock getting a pop as well, closed at $40.97. Now trading at $43.70. This is on the back of earnings. Um, I would, when I worked out a calculation here, I got 45.75, 45.80 um, as probably your max upside. And that matches up nicely uh, with this pivot, this little gap window here on the daily chart. So again, Nutanix could still have some more upside to go, although it is fading a little bit at the moment. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, with the CRM's move and Nutanix move, you want to watch the cloud stocks today. Uh, take a look at Workday. That is getting a bid. So that's trading up a little bit. Uh, other cloud stocks like SPLK uh, also trading up nicely. Uh, let's take a look at Coupa Software. C-O-U-P is a ticker symbol there. That's getting a nice little bid. Uh, Dropbox, DBX, another one there. That's upticking a little bit. Adobe, A-D-B-E. It's a bigger name, but that's also upticking nicely. So again, anything in that cloud space today, uh, that is higher ahead of the opening bell. Let's take a look at Tiffany. I believe they reported earnings as well. TIF, stock not doing so great. Closed at 104.95, now trading at 92.67. That's a decent little haircut here. Uh, when I look at this chart, I'm going to see if I can find some levels for the intraday stock chat room. I think we can find a couple little plays here. But right off the bat, I have to think um, it's going to be somewhere around the 89.50 area. Looks pretty solid to me, at least initially. So we'll see how that plays out, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Let's take a look at SJM, which is JM Smucker. This thing is getting hit pretty hard today. Closed at 109.18, now trading at 103.50. So that's a pretty good haircut there. Um, I do see a lot of support in this name around the 102 and a quarter level. So, again, if it does get down there, I don't really think it gets much below there. Uh, next up, we want to take a look at GW Pharma. GWPH is the ticker symbol here. Uh, stock trading at 118.55, closed at 121.72. So a little bit of a haircut there. There's no play on it, though, at least not yet. Let's take a look at WB, which is Weibo. Uh, this is trading at 62.42, closed at 59.10. Nice little uptick there. Again, uh, we'll see if that could get above the $63 level. You can see that's where it got halted. When you look at the daily chart, that looks to be right where the 50-day moving average is. So, again, we'll see if Weibo can get a little bit more of a move above 63 on an hourly chart close. 
then believe it or not, it might have some running room. Next up, we want to take a look at Burlington, Coat Factory or Burlington Stores, B-U-R-L. Uh, stock right now trading at 159.68, closed at 148.56. So good little pop there. A um, lot of resistance around 161.50. So we'll see if it could pop through there at some point, then it could run. Let's take a look at Dick Sporting Goods, DKS is the ticker symbol. Stock closed yesterday at 36.33. Now trading at 37 bucks, nothing to do there. Uh, let's take a look at Sinacorp, S-I-N-A. This is a Chinese ADR. Stock right now is trading at 63.95, closed at 61.90. So that's a decent pop. Uh, I would give it the upside bias to around 66, maybe 66 and a half. I don't really see it going much past that. So we'll see how that plays out. All right, uh, let's go and shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold futures are flat this morning, trading right at $1,220 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD today, you'll see that's trading right at $1,482, uh, just a hair lower than where it closed. Crude oil this morning up $0.20. Cents. Uh, excuse me, crude oil today down $0.41 cents to $51.15 a barrel. Take a look at the USO. See, that's getting a little bit of a haircut, trading right around $10.81. That closed at $10.95. So oil under a little bit of pressure. Gold is flat today. Market is up ahead of the opening bell. Jay Powell speaking at 12 o'clock. And we'll take it slow and steady. We'll see what this market has to offer. But we've got plenty of equities out here to look at. Again, if you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We've had a great 2018. We're going to look to keep that going really right into the end of the year and beyond. So, again, if you have not done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial. It really has been a fantastic 2018. You get to trade right alongside of us. With that being said, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. Have a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.